Okay, here's a little trick that I want to do. I'm gonna flip this over, and you see how there's like um, the cuticle where that's gonna be at? I'm gonna shave just a little bit here. The reason why I'm shaving it, because I want the nails as it grows out in a week or two, I want it to flow with the nails so there's not gonna be like a gap. Another important steps that I like to do is I like to flip the customer's nails on the back and I like to put a, um, I'm gonna use Jackie's signature, a no wipe top coat. And this is another um, secret that I wanna share with you guys. I like to flip it here and I'm gonna put the top, the top coat gel no wipe and I'm gonna put it and I'm gonna paint it on here. Everybody. Today we're going to talk about how to do a press gel X system and I'm so excited because I just got the new nude color tips from a press. So the first steps that we're going to have to need is we need to get a lamp and I am going to get this portable lamp and it's very easy to use. The second step would be you need to have the right liquids. So since I'm using the bread of press, I like to stay and use their own line of liquids. So the first one is very important. This is the pH bomb dehydrator. This allows you to minimize oil on the customer's nails. So this is the first prep that you have to have. It's very important because you do not want oil fingers when you do gel X, okay? And then this was very important. This is called the tip primer and this is really cool because it's non-acid and that means that this primer does not burn the customer's skin so you don't have to worry about if they're feeling hot or it has a burning sensation so this one it allows the more adhesion when you apply the gel X this is gonna be a great saver and this is going to be coming after when you put the pH bomb and now this one this is the magic, the magic, the oppress their jaw extended. I love this because for one thing, the bottle, it's my favorite color, it's gold, but the consistency is perfect because sometimes when I get some brand on Amazon, it tends to not, you know, it runs a lot. This one is has a slight thickness, so it allows you to get the perfect, um, amount for you to do your gel X. So this extended gel is the magic to allow for you to bond the gel, um, the, the nails onto the customers, okay? So you have to get this one, all right? And then this one, this is called um, the primer, um, gel primer and press. This one is, um, I, you know, this is, um, you need to put this when you apply, when you're all done, you're gonna, before you paint on the nails, like the gel nails, different colors, you use this to put on the gel X, and then it allows you to have more adhesion for your gel polish to stay well on your gel X, okay? And it doesn't give you, it, it helps you um, have a thin natural look instead of using like a base coat, which is more thicker. So this is going to be in place of a base coat. So here I am, I'm so excited. Daniela, are you ready to apply gel X on your nails? Okay, so first thing, I, I already, um, I picked all these bits that I have. Um, these are the Russian manicure bits that I love to use. This is a medium grit, it's a ballpoint grit. This helps really well when you take off the cuticles, okay? And then this is a flat tip. And this flat tip allows me to go into the corner and be more precise and cutting all the extra skin off for the customers, okay? And then here, this is in place of a sanding bed. This is called the diamond bed. And um, instead of me using like a mandrel and I have to put the sanding bed, I'm not gonna use that. This I'm just gonna use this one. And this is roughing up the nails just a little bit before I put the tips on to allow more adhesions. Um, 
I'm excited because a press just came out with the Lila collection and today I'm gonna do natural square medium on my um, customers nails I love this color because it's a perfect nude color and it's going to complement her skin really well and this one you don't have to put any nude colors once you're done you can put a top coat when you're all done that's gonna save me a lot of time it's awesome finally I love it I've been waiting for this tips because usually I only have the clear ones but this one it comes in the nudes so thank you appraise for making these you know tips for us okay so I I already set these tips on the side I already measure um, the tips uh, that goes exactly with Daniela's um, fingernails so you want to measure it first to save time and then here we go all right hello Daniela all right so first thing is I'm gonna use um, a drill and I'm gonna just give her a dry manicure so the dry manicure is going to um, I'm gonna turn on the light for you guys all right so this one is in place of the sanding band okay this is uh, instead of using a sanding band I'm using the um, a fine diamond bit and I'm just gonna lightly just you know give her a little rough just a little bit because we're not doing acrylic nails okay we are doing natural gel X and a lot of clients that wants to wear gel X do not like a lot of drilling so you just kind of lightly rough it just a just like a, a soft speed just trying to you know getting all the excess oil sometimes you know their fingers when it comes to you they might touch their makeup or something like that or has lotion in their hands so you want to just kind of rough you know rough it out and taking out all, all their um oil now i'm going to use this ball small it's a ballpoint cuticle bit and um, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make sure that her nails take all the excess cuticles out. So you see here I am gently taking all this, you know, cuticles, giving her a clean, because you don't wanna have a lot of um, skin that still attaches to the cuticles. You wanna make sure everything and I love this ball point because as it spins, it's lifting all the cuticles that are grown into the nails. Sometimes the cuticles, you know, customers, they have the cuticles that grows into their nails. And what you're gonna have to do is the ball, as it's the round shaped ball, as it spins, it's lifting up. So you want it to make it nice and clean prep, okay? All right, and then, I'm gonna show you one finger at a time, okay? And like I said, once I use the ballpoint, I'm gonna use the flat. You see, this is flat. The flat here, it allows me to cut her cuticles with my drill and not bleeding, okay? Cause this is gonna, um, I'm not using a coarse bit. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna do 45 degrees and I'm just gonna slightly use this and go around the corner this is gonna help me cut and shape her nails and make it a clean cut how you feel Danielle good okay. it's relaxing huh mm -hmm. you want you want the customers to have a relaxing experience the more relaxed the more tips you'll get all right so now once I shape this, I'm going to get my brush and I'm going to clean this. Now, do not touch your hands or anything after you prep, okay? I do not like oil. Oil is not good. Now, so pH bonder dehydrator, okay? They're the same thing. And you're going to lightly going to put it here onto her nails. And then you see how it's like, has like, you know, um, the ashy look. That just shows that it takes off the oil. It eliminates the oil. So then you're taking, you're taking off that oil from her. All right. Now, 
this is called Jiao X, um, the non-acid free, meaning it's not gonna be hot, it doesn't burn her nails. This one allows you to have more adhesion. So after you put the pH bond, you're gonna put the silver, okay? It's a silver bottle, you're gonna put it, the uh, nail tip primer around here, all right? And then um, I like to also, since I'm using, I'm gonna measure it. This is the tip I'm gonna use. Okay, here's a little trick that I want to do. I'm gonna flip this over, and you see how there's like um, the cuticle where that's gonna be at? I'm gonna shave just a little bit here. The reason why I'm shaving it, because I want the nails as it grows out in a week or two, I want it to flow with the nails so there's not gonna be like a gap when the customer's nails grow. So you want it to shave it off just a little bit. And remember, I'm using a flat um, cuticle and I'm just lightly shaving it, not too much, okay? Because this is a gel tip and it's not like your regular um, plastic tips where you use for acrylic nails. So Gel X, um, their tips is a little bit more soft because they're made out of gel. So you just slowly shaving it off, just a little bit. So therefore, when it grows out, it's not gonna have like a gap. So it'll be perfect. Now, after you shave it, you're going to put the Gel X um, Prime and the primer, you're gonna put just a little bit over here. You see, I'm gonna put it on the side. That's just gonna give you more adhesions for your customers, okay? So it makes it last longer, all right? So I'm okay. And I'm gonna measure it again. Perfect, awesome. So in a week or two, as it grows out, it will not have that gap. Okay, so this bottle, the magic, this is the one that makes it work. The extended gel oppress, okay? You're gonna lightly, okay? Do not overlap the cuticles. You don't want it to get everywhere around the cuticles. You're gonna take and just a thin layer, all right? You're gonna meet, not overlapping. You're gonna lightly paint it onto her nails, just a little bit. The reason why I'm giving her this to do this first is because if I miss any spots, this one is gonna help me not to worry about causing air bubbles and miss any gap, all right? I'm gonna put that, that's the first step. And then using this, you know how in the beginning, I told you I like the consistency of the extended gel from Epress. It's not too thin, it's a little bit thick. So this thickness is gonna help me get a perfect shaped ball. I'm just gonna put a little ball onto the nails and I'm gonna do it at 45 degrees angle. I'm just gonna put a little bit onto the nail, just like this, okay? Not too much. You see how it's not dripping everywhere? It stays still. And that's what you want when you do the gel X. You want it to stay still and you don't want it to slide because if it doesn't stay still, then it's gonna cause you to put all over the cuticles. And then you're gonna slightly, you're gonna ask her, you're gonna put it 45 degrees, okay? As you make sure 45 degrees, you want it to press down. And once you got everything all perfect, you're gonna touch lamp and you see how this lamp is amazing because you don't need to hold a flashlight it's just touch it as you touch here and it's about like I say about 30 seconds so just you know put 30 seconds and just count it in your head and then once you are set to go perfect all right so now as I put all of her fingers and I apply all the oppressed nails and I do the 30 seconds with a touch lamp and then once we are all done, very important step, I would like to put it on into the lamp, my real lamp for 60 seconds, okay? 60 seconds. I feel that that gives you more support and it allows more time and you know, for it to cook properly. So once you take out the lamp for 60 seconds, um, another important steps that I like to do is I like to flip the customer's nails on the back and I like to put a, um, I'm gonna use Jackie's signature, a no wipe top coat. And this is another um, 
secret that I want to share with you guys. I like to flip it here and I'm going to put the top, the top coat gel no wipe and I'm going to put it and I'm going to paint it on here. I'm going to tell you why I'm doing this. The reason why I'm doing this is because that this one, it helps customers not um, exposed to any chemicals. These tips will last longer. Sometimes, you know, when you're at home and you're cleaning with Clorox wipes or you're doing house chores and you have to use the heavy chemicals or washing the dishes, some of the chemicals, you know, might melt or, you know, thin out the... Um, the uh, nail gel tips from a press. So my top coat no wipe, I'm gonna put it underneath here. This one is gonna allow you more protection against you know harsh chemicals, household chemicals, especially or acetone even. You know, so this is a t secret I want to share with you. And I'm gonna put this underneath here for 60 seconds. So now once you finish the top coat on the bottom, I'm going to go over and I'm going to look and I want to seal in the cuticles one last time lightly with my, um, just my tip. I'm going to make sure that everything's all, you know, any excess glue that I miss. But I did it, you know, in the beginning, I, I didn't, you know, put overlapping the cuticles. So I don't have a lot of glue. Everything looks really nice, you know. So you want it to seal in gently. There's a lot. There's not a lot of drilling, okay? No, remember, remember what I said. There's minimize the drill. Gel X, you don't need to drill that much. And then, so since it's a nude color from tip, you just don't have to worry. You're just gonna just put a top coat on it, and you know, call it a day. I love it. It's gonna be super fast for you. And I love this. This this color tips goes really well with your skin tone, Daniela. Thank you. Oh yeah, I love it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Just gonna put um, the top coat no wipe, and it's already super shiny. And this top coat that I'm using from Jackie Signature No Wipe is a diamond top coat, and it's just gonna give her more shines to it. All right, and I put it in for 60 seconds on the lamp. It to more dries better. All right, so for the final touch, I'm gonna give her Blossom Cuticle Oil, and it, the flavor is Jasmine. I love Jasmine. Just put it around her cuticles, and you know, after sir, you know, after we finish service, we like to give her a little massage around the cuticles. That way, you know, she feels more relaxed. Relaxing will be great. Hopefully she gave me a great tip. Mm -hmm. Here's her nail X, Thank you everybody for spending the time with me today um, learning how to do gel X. Um, I really appreciate that you guys will leave me a comment or any suggestion in my comment section and I will try to respond back to you. As always, I love you all and have a great day. Love you. Bye.